Uber quick photo tip part two. Instead of using the basic contrast slider, try using the tone curve instead. Now the tone curve is available in most editing softwares like Lightroom and Photoshop, and it gives you a lot more control over the way the contrast is being added into your photo. Let me show you what I mean. So the tone curve can either be used by clicking and dragging on the graph on the line here, or by adjusting the four sliders down below. So on the far left, you've got your very darkest of the darks. Um, anything that's touching the very far left would be completely black. Anything that's touching the very far right would be completely white, anything in between is somewhere between white and black. Now the lines here represent a graph and they represent the amount of pixels that hold that lightness value. So when I go to adjust this photo, I can do things like drop the highlights yet increase the lights to bring the overall lights of the image up but bring the highlights down. And then I can do the opposite by decreasing the darks but increasing the shadows. So by using this tone curve, it's completely 100% customizable and there's so many more options than just sliding a simple contrast slider 